Hello and welcome to this quick afternoon update on the Paycheck Protection Program, the Stimulus Checks, and the EIDL Grant Program. Um, I just wanted to rip this straight from the camera to YouTube because I feel obligated every time I find any kind of piece of news to just put it out there as quickly as possible to you know, digest it and summarize it and make it easily understandable and then bring it to you fine folks. So let's get right into it. Um, as of 4.13, which is today, um, a poll of over 4,000 small businesses, they said that the SBA has funded approximately 2.7% of those businesses with the Paycheck Protection Loan, which is actually a bit of a surprise to me because I've yet to hear of anyone personally, of the thousands of people who have contacted me, that they've received any kind of funding. So I'm glad to hear that there is some amount of funding getting sent to these businesses and things are happening. 2.7% isn't a whole lot, but at least we're getting there. At least it's not zero. That's 2.7% of businesses that have actually received money, not just started the process or anything like that. They've received funds. The average wait time for those 2.7% of businesses who've been funded was 5.8 days before they received funding. Now, with my business, it's been almost two weeks, and I'm sure many of you out there are in a similar situation where it's been weeks. Um, what I noticed with the list of businesses who have been funded, most of them who have applied at really small or regional banks, and that's something that I really harped on last week saying that if you wanted your best bet of getting in with a bank, it would be to approach either a small bank or credit union, someone who's not getting inundated with just a million loan requests some like you know Chase Bank is or Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo is saying that they're accepting applications again. I just went ahead and applied for the notifications of their loan application and they actually sent me an email today stating that, however, I'm in line it's gonna be a while yet and they'll let me know and to try to apply elsewhere. So you are probably in the same boat if you applied with Wells Fargo. That's how, you know, how I'm receiving the news. The median company size for those who have been funded through the Paycheck Protection Program is 18 employees and the median loan amount was $153,000. Now according to the same poll, only 0.5% of small businesses who applied for the EIDL grant program received any kind of funding. So less than 1% received any funding, and that was the program that was, as we all probably remember, it was supposed to be three days in order to receive funding, and you know that went out the door. And I also heard the $2 million loan limit also just went out the door. Right now they're just giving everyone basically a $15,000 optional loan, and then you agree upon whichever amount you want you know, of that $15,000, and then depending on if you accept or not, then they send you the grant portion, which has now come down to about $1,000 per employee. The average wait time for those businesses that applied for the EIDL grant and were funded was 16 days. Same boat here where you know a lot of you have probably applied more than two weeks ago and haven't heard anything. I am one of those people. I was one of the first to apply and I haven't heard anything, so I'm in the same boat as all of you. The median company size is nine employees who have received the EIDL grant and the median grant amount was $8,500. It didn't state the loan amount above that, but they're basically just saying $15,000 is kind of the standard. The IRS reported now, this is great news. The IRS reported that they have processed 80 million direct deposit stimulus checks last Friday. The checks have begun rolling out and some people have received funds as early as today, which is the 13th, and the IRS is stating that most people who uh, filed taxes electronically or received their refund electronically should receive that stimulus check by sometime midweek, and then, you know, of course, it takes a couple days to process in the bank direct deposits, but they're saying by this week, most people who file electronically should be receiving their refund. Um, low income earners will be the first to receive direct deposits, and the rest electronic payments will be funded later this week. If you don't receive electronic payments, that portal will be open pretty soon to register there. If you do get a check, they're not going to start sending out the checks until the end of April is what we're hearing and then it's going to be quite a while before they actually can like physically cut all those checks. Um, the IRS, another little piece of news, the IRS plans to have a second website up by April 17th that will show people the status of their payments for the stimulus check, including the date the money is scheduled to be deposited or mailed. So that's also really exciting for those who are either need to still sign up electronically or are going to receive the paper check. There's going to be a system very soon that will allow you to see exactly when you'll receive that money 
if it says it's sent, if you need to you know, contact them and, and reapply um, to you know, get the funds sent to a new address or whatever you need to get done, that's really exciting. So that's all the updates for today. If you guys like this short, concise update video, please let me know. And also if you want me to keep you updated on how many businesses have been funded with the EIDL and Paycheck Protection Programs, let me know and I can kind of make this either a daily or bi-daily thing where I'll just do this quick afternoon update. So please remember to like this video and subscribe if you like this content. And until next time, hope you have a profitable day.